Independent links. What's up? It's your boy Chris H. Here you're watching Independent Links. I'm standing right here. We got KRS One in the building. Mm -hmm. Now you came in there, you stirred up some controversy. You started talking to everybody. They listened. They stopped. You thought you would have Jesus walked in the door or something. <laughs> but you had a very valid point. And you talked about the pioneers not being recognized in the way they should be for the hip hop museum. Can you elaborate a little bit just for my viewers so they can know exactly what you were talking about and know what's going on? You know, I got a call last night from Africa Bambada. Matter of fact, let me talk to you on this side. They, they voted out your, your best side, right? Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. Sure. I, mean, no. You know what I, mean? I have to look that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> this one. Um, yeah, we're trying to get out of Oh, shit. We're trying to close the press piece right here. Oh. Oh, we got a rush up. What's this doing in the middle? Come on, where's my man at? Right here. It's some light right here. Bam. Alright. Okay, now. Right, back to the question before yep. we get so really interrupted. <laughs> First of all, I got a call last night from uh, Kenny Yoda of Zulu Nation, a longtime friend, supporter. Um, and he said that um, Africa Bambada was not comfortable with the arrangements of this hip hop museum. The pioneers were not invited. They were not, well, I can't say they weren't invited. They were not consulted in a way that was inviting. Gotcha. Here's some of the concerns. The concerns was first, you have an incorporated hip hop museum and none of us are on the incorporation papers. Secondly, if you're not, you say you're honoring us, then if you're honoring a person, you give them an honorarium. There's some sort of uh, O'Day to their career, some sort of something to their legacy. It wasn't like that. We were here just to uh, gather, talk about the museum, and garner support. Basically promote for them Basically and now get in them. Gotcha. Uh, well, I'm trying to be polite here. Uh, I'm not. Now, <laughs> that was the gripe with the pioneers. The last gripe is, here's another museum, Ronnie C, all day. Yo, next week. Next week. Yo, you know that. What up, man? Like them gazelles. Keep it real with that. No doubt. My man got the gazelles on. Woo! Hip hop. So the bottom, the, the, the last part was where's the health care? Where's the legal defense? Where's some kind of savings for my children? This is what the pioneers are asking for. If you're going to erect a hip hop museum, make sure my children, me, and my legacy is taken care of. Ronnie C was just here and laid that out. Me, my children, and my legacy. Then you can have a hip hop museum. This was the discrepancy. Now I, KRS, am in full support of the hip hop museum. I'm a proud member of Zulu Nation, so I take my orders from, from Africa Bambada. He said, this is illegitimate. I brought it to my man, Craig. Craig got on the phone with everybody, heard what they said, but the event was today. So I came to rep Craig, no doubt, and the Hip Hop Museum. I believe in the project, but we have to have a Hip Hop Museum, not just a museum repping Hip Hop. And that's what this was about. I thought this was brilliant today, that the people know the truth, the pioneers ain't with it, but the founders are gonna go to the pioneers and discuss them being with it. I was gonna ask you, you had a very in-depth meeting and you talked to them with you. Did you feel like they were receptive of what you're saying? Did they go yes. in through one and go out? Or did they really, did the Sarah Bellum's rotate? No, nah, first, first of all, you're dealing with a philosopher by trade. So anything I'm talking about may go over the head of, the, of whoever. Right. I'm only here to advise. I'm an advisor to the Hip Hop Museum. That's it. I'm with the Temple of Hip Hop. We don't even really... Our mission is not even a hip hop museum at all. I'm more interested in preserving you than your clothes. A hip hop museum is more interested in preserving your clothes than you. I was going to ask you, what goes in a hip hop museum? You! 
So do I just like, just pose up on it? No, his, a hip hop museum first is interactive. He should be able to come there and record. Because hip hop walks in the building. You are hip hop, you are it. So when they hit, when you walk in the museum, the museum honors you. You, it's not you looking at anything. It's the museum looking at you. The whole facility should be looking at you. When you walk in, I'm hip hop. Record over here. Hit your graph over here. Little kids should be able to DJ, break a turntable if they want. It should be madness. It shouldn't be orderly like this. Music should be played. Giving tours. Different things going on. You got this one over here. That madness. Whole different concept in the quiet. We're gonna observe the music. Yo! Chuck Dizzle? Yo, yo, Bring him over. we over here deep in the interview. Yo, let Chuck come through. You can get him over here.